According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Vietnam is the world's second largest producer of coffee, and the country is the third biggest supplier to the U.S. But despite its success, one first-generation entrepreneur says Vietnam is often overlooked when it comes to specialty coffee brews. Dominic Chu now on one woman's quest to get her, the coffee of her roots into mugs all around the globe. Vietnamese coffee is traditionally bold in flavor, slowly brewed, and meant to be savored. According to Sarah Nguyen, its time has come. My dream is to build the world's biggest coffee company rooted in the world's second largest source of coffee. Nguyen, too, is rooted in Vietnam. Her parents, both refugees who escaped their native country by boat after the war. Everything is very hard, not easy. Later, they became entrepreneurs here in the States. Their journey has inspired me to create my own journey as an entrepreneur. A journey that brought her back to her origins, a land where more than 3 billion pounds of coffee is produced every year. The bulk of it, Robusta beans, a variety high in caffeine, but commonly used to make instant coffee and grocery store blends. Because the specialty coffee industry was really hyper-focused on growing Arabica beans, robust and growing communities around the world were really left out of the specialty coffee conversation. And this is why so many people aren't as familiar with Robusta beans. When vows to change that. In 2018, she emptied her savings to launch Wen Coffee Supply, a direct-to-consumer brand based in Brooklyn, New York. By elevating Vietnamese coffee, Wen says she hopes to push back on the robusta bean stigma and bring visibility to the people who grow it, drawing from her own life. Growing up as a first-generation Vietnamese American kid in Boston, Massachusetts in the early 90s, I often felt really alienated and different and invisible. And now I'm so proud of my culture, my family heritage, so much to the point that I've named my company after my family name. A coffee revolution, one drop at a time. But there was a point in my life where I felt like being a first generation, a child of immigrants was a disadvantage. But now, truly, as I'm building this company, I feel like being a first generation is a huge advantage because we're truly doing something that's never been done before. Nguyen Coffee Supply recently secured $2.6 million in funding from a diverse group of investors, more than two-thirds of whom are Asian Americans. Shep? Dom, thank you. There's a shakeup happening in the world.